means Nigerians. Hmm. Peter will be to emerge as PDP presidential candidate in 2027. Hey, this will really shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerian main opposition PDP is getting ready for the 2027 presidential election, but a judge disclosed. The PDP chieftain insisted that the presidential ticket of the party should be given to the southern candidates, noting that a northern candidate would spread doom for the party. This has concluded speculations that the PDP is prepared to whistle power from the APC in 2027 and to feed in Peter will be the Labour Party flag bearer as his preferred choice. Oh. The Labour Party does not have the root. The Labour Party was a movement. They don't have solid roots. The Labour Party came out of anger. He does not have the kind of root we have. Labour Party is a wind. Where was Obi? We can still talk to him if he wants to. Okay, uh, this is coming from um, Bode Judge. Well, we know that this is going to be impossible. Obi will not do this. Uh -huh. Obi can never do this. Obi will never go back to PDP. You understand? The way I see him anyway. Uh, it's just that politicians you cannot predict you know their next movement but peter will be cannot go back to pdp you see what is keeping pdp where he is today is greedo peter will be was once a member of that party if they if they have allowed peter be to pick the tickets by now this election matter if I don't even entertain, PDP had the ample opportunity to take power from APC, you know, resulting from what happened during President Muhammad Buhari's regime. Nigerians got tired. Nigerians, you know, were angry with APC and all that. So they were looking for every means, you know, to get out from that particular party. And that is why Peter will be left PDP. You see how you know, uh, uh, what, how Nigerians followed him and all that. Nigerians, this is what uh, Body George is saying. He said the only way PDP can get back to power is for them to, you know, give tickets to a Southerner. And if possible, people going to talk, say, Peter B., is in the best place and we know that Peter B will not you know accept such a thing because even if follow ourselves then go dump them they could talk say you know they're serious well let's see how it goes uh -huh. in another news headline uh, Charles Uputa popularly known as Charlie Boy or area father has berated yes on week the minister of the federal capital territory on social media. He shared a video of Mwike at the office of the chief of staff to the president of Nigeria, Femi Banjambi Amila. In the video, Mwike he sang dancing and singing, On your mandate we shall stand, Jagaban. In the caption, Area Father wrote, My people, I be if I talk now, then go say, Area Father, they'll insult their papa. But when Papa they misbehave like children, them, you know, go see them. It be like say some of our leaders day from no, day, day for Nollywood, for our face turning our suffering to comedy. They don't they dance, shaka shaka, on top our pain when we they endure hardship. Hmm. See this. Honorable justice of injustice, will they call you out of your wicked act? The masses they suffer, you they carry our constitution turn them upside down. Our year, year judiciary, when they promote injustice, will not try. We go loud, them, we go keep quiet. Hmm. 
Yakubo no go go. Yakubo na God go judge you. If all their doings they pepper you, as he they pepper me, help me cause this year year people. It shall never be well with them all. Uh -huh. He also call out Ulukayo uh, de Ariwala, the G C O N, the Justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, who serves as the Chief Justice of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as he called him a dishonorable. He then proceeded to call out INEC Chairman Mahmoud Iyakubo. Okay. Someone can't talk for his sake. God will punish Yakubo and his generation. It shall never be well with him and his family, with the judges that joined him to put Tinubu and his people in power to punish Nigerians. Vampires and criminals are on the throne of government house. Bears of same feather flock together. It shall never be well with Yakubo and his generation. Oh, Mr. Nwike is just pretending. He has since joined the APC secretly. Mark my word. Hmm. When in 2015 and 2019, Tinubu and APC labeled Nwike as drunk. A drunk man. Many defended Nwike, but today Nwike has proven Tinubu right. Nwike is a drunkard. See his picture. You will see that he is really, and the way he talks, you will know that something is wrong with him. Oh. So guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So I beg, we do not get to talk on this particular one. Make we hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for always stopping by. Bye for now.